welcome to another day of life. Hi, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. My name's Susie, it's nice to meet ya. If you know me, you will know that I am the inconsistent queen of YouTube. 99.9% .9 of the time, my life is chaos. One of my main goals for this year was to create a healthy routine and to actually stick to it. Do I say that every single year? Yes, I do, but this time we are actually doing it. So some of the things that I want to bring into my routine this year is first of all, a workout routine that's realistic, that I enjoy and that I can stick to. For a while now actually, I've been really struggling to enjoy working out. I go through this cycle where I set this goal for myself. I'm like, I'm gonna go to the gym five days a week for an hour and lift heavy weights. And then it gets to like week two, or well, sometimes it doesn't even get to the end of the week and I've completely fallen off and end up not working out for an entire month. And luckily, at the end of last year, Copilot reached out to me and they are kindly sponsoring this video. I started doing it at the end of last year because I really wanted to give it a good go until I committed to a video to see if I actually liked the app and if it actually worked for me. Some of the other things I aim to work on is my mental health because I've definitely been neglecting that. Also, cooking recipes from home because your girl was a takeaway addict in Canberra and it is is not fun for the bank account. I look back at when I did my 30 day and eight week challenge two years ago, I think it was, and I was thriving. Like the gym became my safe space. It didn't end up being an effort to go anymore. It just became part of my routine, but it has felt like a massive effort lately. And I know that doing these things is just gonna make me feel so much better and my life feel so much easier. So in this video, I'm gonna show you my journey recently of trying to create this routine. It's the 27th of December, the day after Boxing Day. I can feel all of the Christmas food sloshing around, but we're getting this workout done. Mm. A quick explanation of Copilot. It's a fitness app that matches you up with a real life personal trainer and together you make your own personalized workout plan, which is tailored to you and your goals and the equipment that you have access to. Jesus Christ. I was aiming for five workouts a week at this time, which we will find out later did not end up happening. And I had lost a lot of fitness, so it was definitely a rocky start. Oh, I used to be able to do 10 normal push-ups. What's happened to me? Safe to say, the post Christmas workout hit different. We're gonna be consistent guys. We're getting back into it. Okay, it's the week after Christmas and Murray and I just dropped my car off to get serviced. And usually I would pick him up and we would drive home, but we're walking home before we go and work out. Yeah. I absolutely fell in love with weight training in the past, but I definitely don't have the strength that I used to. So my main goals for this was building up my strength again. And day two, I was feeling really good. I was feeling super motivated, still had a gym membership that I had not used since I did my Daisy Keach challenge. So I decided to utilize it today. It is currently Tuesday, the 17th of January, and I'm about to work out in my room because I'm in the middle of moving and all of my stuff is currently in boxes in my filming room where I usually work out. I already went for like a 30 minute walk today just because I wanted to get some sunlight. I'm trying to get my hot girl walks in for 2023. I'm going on my co-pilot hot girl 20 minute walk. I have not worked out for like two weeks because moving just got to me, the stress of it all. I really thought that I was gonna be fine and working out like five days a week whilst moving did not happen. So yeah, obviously did not start out running like I wanted to with this new workout journey. So after this, Grace and I decided it was smarter to aim for three workouts a week just to get me back into it. Okay, workout done. Feeling amazing. Super proud, pat on the back Susie. Good job. 
Now moving was a super stressful time for me and I have a tendency when I get stressed, I just completely stop working out. But soon enough, we were in our new house and this time I had Murray with me. And boy, having a workout buddy just makes all the difference. So this is the home gym, which is currently just the garage with my weights. Because Murray and I haven't found a gym yet at our new place. I'm not gonna lie. I really don't feel like working out today. And I was so close to just going to sleep and not doing the workout. But first of all, I didn't want Grace to see that I didn't do the workout. <laughs> Very good motivation right there. And also I was like, I could go to sleep being annoyed at myself for not working out, or I could just pump out 26 minutes, that's all the workout is, and wake up feeling very proud of myself that I did it the day before. I've also realized I think I need to start working out first thing in the morning or I will continue to put it off all day until it's 10 p.m. So yeah. This really got me doing cardio. <sighs> Feeling accomplished though. But oh my God, we need to get a fan for this garage. Now I can submit my workout. You can give your feedback to your coach. So you can say how difficult, too easy, just right or too hard. I would say that one was hard, but not to the point where I was like, I would never do it again. So I'm gonna say just right. Here you can leave your workout notes to your coach. Enjoyed the booty band workouts but damn did they burn okay for dinner i'm feeling so lazy and typically i would go and drive and get guzmani gomez but we're eating healthy and also i can't be bothered driving 15 minutes to go and get it and we can't get uber eats here so instead i'm gonna make some salmon veggies and potato and here is dinner we have green beans potatoes and some salmon delicious with a little bit of lemon on top and lots of seasoning. Let's see if I burnt my salmon like I usually do. That doesn't look burnt, that looks perfect. Honestly, sometimes I'd rather burn salmon because I get a bit scared when it's a bit pink. What do we think? Does that look good? Okay, we're working out inside today because I was getting sick of working out in the garage, but let's go. I just like to put my phone on my tripod in front of me, but you don't have to do this. My butt is so sore. I really like this workout because it's arms and I love working out arms. Look at these guns. These are moving so much easier than they did last week. I love that when you're doing the workout at the right speed, it says looking good. And when I don't get a looking good, I'm like, what am I doing wrong? Okay, that was a tough one. Just submitting my workout now. I think I could have actually gone heavier in some of the workouts, so I'm gonna say it was a little bit too easy. We're making progress, gals, and guys, and they and thems. So I'm actually a little bit sick at the moment. So I was supposed to work out yesterday. I had to miss that because I was just not feeling well. My immune system is down at the moment. Um, I got a blood test and it's an actual thing. I'm not just making it up as an excuse not to work out. But I managed to get yesterday's workout done today and I'm gonna work out tomorrow, Saturday, to make up for it because I'm feeling a bit better now. Still not feeling 100%, but I'm feeling good enough that I know I can get a workout done. Even if I don't put my all into it or it's not the best workout ever, it's still important to, you know, give it a go. It's better to try and fail. Even though you wouldn't be failing, you're just not doing as well as you would if you were well. It's better to try and fail than to not try and do it at all. That's my wisdom of the day. My glutes are so sore today, which I'm so happy about because I haven't been able to engage my glutes recently. Grace gave me those banded workouts and now my glutes are burning. By this point, I was starting to really enjoy this workout routine. So I want to explain a bit further to you guys what Copilot is for those of you who don't know. So I just want to preface that this coach is not AI. You are actually set up with a real life in-person personal trainer and you can talk to them over video chat. You can text them as much as you want throughout the day and they will reply promptly to you. My personal trainer is Grace and she is an absolute sweetheart. Usually a huge misconception that you have to go spend like hours in the gym. Yeah. Um, but you really don't, right? So 
the good thing is that anything that you do is better than not doing anything at all. I think something that I really was struggling with before was just the accountability. The only person who was convincing me to go to the gym was me and me wasn't doing a very good job of convincing. But every time you finish a workout on the app, your coach can see, which is such a great source of motivation. It's weight focused, but I also have a bit of cardio and it keeps me interested, which is what I really need. Anytime something is isn't working for you or you're working on a certain day so you can't do a workout then. You literally just let your coach know and they change the workout program to suit you and what you need. And also something that I absolutely love about Copilot is they are not focused at all on losing weight. They don't see fitness as being a before and after shot. They see it as being a journey and something to make you feel good. Over 75% of Copilot clients continue to work out after 100 days, which means that they are nine times more successful at sticking to their goals, which is amazing. So I started out by using the app on my phone, but recently they were kind enough to gift me an Apple Watch, which you by no means have to use the Apple Watch to do your workouts. It was working great for me as well before I had the Apple Watch, but if you've already got one, you can use it and it'll just track your heart rate and how fast you're doing the movements. Slow down. Oops. So I'm just so excited to be sharing Copilot with you guys and my journey with it because it has just been amazing. Absolute game changer. And the best thing is that you can try it out for free. If you click my link, you can get a free trial. The way I've gone from literally not working out at all to actually being able to consistently work out and be motivated to work out so now it is workout time, baby, and I'm very excited to get my workout done. So I've got a 31 minute strength focused workout. So let's hit the home gym. You in the backyard and you're all fine in the summer. Stay there for three weeks where we learn to love each other. Wrote you a letter, sent a message to the captain. Get to the present, have been so happy ever. All done, I just stretched. Just gonna submit it now. But I did 10 kilos in each arm for those chest press. And I'm bloody proud of myself because it has been a long time since my arms have been able to lift that weight. Can we see the biceps coming through? Ooh. Mm. Okay, it's like 10 p.m. and I want a bit of chocolate so bad, but Margie has eaten all the chocolate and I'm so upset about this. So I don't have any chocolate in the house. He ate the cooking chocolate as well. I feel like I can throw together some sort of dessert with the minimal things that I do have in the house. I have cream cheese. This is real desperation. And I have uh, macro mics with Brie's caramelized white choc protein. I've tried her cookies and cream one, I haven't tried this one. And then their powdered protein spread in deluxe rich choc. Honestly, anything sweet right now would do it for me. Mixy mixy, our potions. <laughs> oh, that's cheesy. That's... I thought I had the lid on that. And that is our dessert. Granola on the bottom, cream cheese, yogurt, protein mixture, and then some protein choc spread with strawberries. This is hitting the spot. And that was chaotic late night cooking with Susie. As punishment for eating all of the chocolate in the house, I made Murray do the co-pilot workout with me this day. And you know girl was just giving it her all because I really wanted to outshow Murray with this workout. I mean, you guys comment down below who did it better. The correct answer is me, if you're wondering. Now over gaining my strength back and building my fitness back up, my main goal for this was just to enjoy working out again. And finally, after really having to push myself to start this workout routine, I was actually feeling the urge to work out naturally throughout the day without having to force myself. And my mindset has improved so much over these last few weeks. The biggest thing that encourages me to keep going is the way that working out makes me 
feel. The mental clarity it gives me, it improves my mental health. And I'm not saying there's any problem with having body focus goals. I mean, you do you boo. Everyone is different, but for me, working out really is just a way to improve my life, to make me feel physically and mentally better. And it's really pulled me out of the dark place that I was in at the end of last year. Working out shouldn't be about punishing your body to try and look a certain way. It's a form of self-care and appreciating your body by moving it in ways that makes it feel good. Murray and I are about to go to the farmer's markets. This is our second time going to the farmer's markets. I'm loving it. I feel like such a healthy local part of the community girl when I go and they have really nice fruits and veggies and like stuff that they don't have in the supermarket. The supermarket veggies and fruit just hasn't been hitting, especially the fruit. And I love lychees and we got some lychees last time and they were so good. We don't really like grocery shopping very much, but I feel like we both like the markets. I like yeah. the markets? Yeah. And they usually have food there so we can get a coffee and something to eat. Let's go see what they have. We are back from the farmer's markets. And of course I need to give you guys a farmer's market haul. We got some pear and apple juice, some brown mushrooms. I usually just get the normal mushrooms, but excited to try those out. Some homemade strawberry jam, some grapes, which are in the bags of grapes that you get from Woolworths, but I assume this is like homegrown, but they're just using these bags. Also got some local honey, which I'm really excited for. Don't remember how to pronounce this, but Lonjons? Lon? Longans, just ignore me, but got some of these to try. I've never tried them before, so excited for that. Some strawberries, and most excitingly, lychees. I love lychees so much. Like every year when they come in season, I can't stop eating them. So yeah, that's everything we got. I've done it, guys. I've actually woken up early. It's like 8.30 and we are doing a workout first thing in the morning. Well, to be fair, I woke up at like seven, but I had to drop Murray off at work. Having a boyfriend that works a job with early hours is one of the best things for my sleep schedule because we've just been going to sleep at 2 a.m., but now he's back at work and he starts at like seven in the morning, which means I have a reason to go to sleep early and get up early. It's just me at home today and we're getting a workout in to start my day off good. I've got a body weight workout today for 30 minutes, so let's get it done. <laughs> I'm fighting someone invisible. It's like wee boxing. <laughs> oh god, I just know this is not gonna be fun. <laughs> oh, I didn't like that. We did it! Onto the stretches. Oh, I feel so proud of myself. I feel like I say that every time, but getting your workout done in the morning just hits different. Then a cat cow. How are we looking? Sweat wise. Thanks to my Gymshark sweat collection, I don't think you can really see my coochie sweat. Boy, it feels good to sweat it out first thing in the morning. Ah! And one of the mistakes I would usually make is to not shower straight after working out, but I'm getting in the shower straight away. But first gonna submit this workout. I would say that workout was just right. Shower transition. Also, I have to say that massive declutter was the best thing I ever did. I completely forgot about this dress. I haven't worn this dress in probably two years. And why not? This is such a cute dress. I can wear it without a bra. Just gonna make myself a healthy breakfast now. Okay, for breakfast this morning, I'm gonna have a savory breakfast. I have been pretty bad with my breakfast lately. Not bad, but I have PCOS. I've talked about it a bit before. The best breakfast for me to have is one high in protein, low in carbs, that's not gonna spike my blood sugars. And in the morning, I've just been feeling like not very good in the tummy and 
I've just been having like granola and yogurt, which I know is not the best for me and it doesn't keep me full. We're gonna make something quick and easy this morning that I know is gonna make me feel good. Purdy, but we're doing this for our hormone health and it actually doesn't taste too bad I just put a bit of sriracha on it. She is becoming a sriracha girly. That is my piece <laughs> I really just did that. This is my PCOS friendly breakfast So it is almost the end of February and this is how I'm going with building my healthy routine so far we still have a long way to go, but I feel like with working out in general, I actually feel excited to work out now. I'm excited about this new fitness journey that I'm going on. And don't worry, I am still gonna be doing these fitness videos and fitness challenges that I do. Now with Copilot, I have some structure. I have something that I know I can come back to and I can still use the app whilst doing my fitness challenges. That's what's so amazing about it is just how flexible it is and how you can make it work for you with the help of an amazing coach who really cares about your fitness journey and wants to see you thrive. Honestly, finding Copilot has been such a saving grace for me. I was stuck in limbo for so long with my workout routine and trying multiple things that were not working for me. And oh my God, the best thing is the accountability. So I think the next step for my workout journey is finding a gym with Murray and then starting to do these workouts in a gym. But I'm so excited to take you guys with me on this journey. I think Copilot is so amazing and I am so happy that I found them. So remember, if you do wanna try Copilot out, you can click the link in my description box for a free trial. And I'm definitely gonna be sticking to Copilot as my everyday fitness for the foreseeable future, but we of course need to bring the content. You know, we're gonna bring the fitness challenges back. So please comment down below any fitness challenges you guys want me to try out or any videos you want to see from me in general. As always, love to see your ideas. Is. I'm feeling really good and I have so many more goals, but I think I've done a good job of slowly building this routine and making it sustainable and realistic and by no means am I perfect. I've still got a lot of internal work to do, but no one's journey is the same. Do not compare your journey to someone else's because we all have ebbs and flows in our life. It's not an uphill battle, it's a roller coaster. But the important thing is you just stay on that roller coaster and ride it out. Someone put that on a t-shirt. Okay guys, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and join our family of all shapes and sizes. You are welcome here. Also, if you're up to this point of the video, comment down below a heart emoji. We'll keep it simple this time. You're the real ones. I see you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.